Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what a wonderful start of the day in such a respectable uh, company of very enthusiastic people. So thank you very much for inviting us uh, and be the part of uh, this, this wonderful forum. Um, I'm coming from Moscow. And uh, first of all, I'd like to underline that uh, Korea won against Germany in Russia. And that's important. Uh, I represent uh, Smart City Technologies Corporation as the board member of this company, being the leader and the professor of the university, and I'm leading the Department of Public Governance. Our university is um, in the Guinness Book of World Records teaching 53 languages, not being a linguistic academy, we're a diplomatic academy. Uh, quite small but influential institution, we're preparing government leaders for the future, but among our graduates currently are the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Mr. Lavrov, the head of presidential staff, Mr. Vaino. And for us, it is very important to be the part of the dialogue of the future technologies, of the attempt to understand what our societies will be facing and dealing with tomorrow and in a short future. And before I welcome to this stage my partner and the founder of uh, our company, Konstantin Sinigovsky, I'd like to make two observations that I'd like to share with you. The first one, that somebody should keep a broader picture of application of new technologies of the blockchain and introduction of these solutions in, in, in the societies and countries. Because I think it is important to understand that on a national level, the, there should be no competition because we, uh, we cannot be late for anything. There are always two sides of the story. Blockchain is a unique uh, invention, but it carries some risks as well. The uh, anonymous solutions, when you don't know the actual beneficiaries of the transactions on a national level, uh, call for greater attention from the governments just to understand is everything is going okay. So at this point, uh, the preservation, that, that's my second uh, observation, the preservations of human, human being interests, individual interests in, in this global digital ecosystem, global digital environment is, is also very important. And that's, that is why I, I made my friendship with Pietro Doran, uh, to whom I'm very grateful that he's, he's keeping me in this uh, process of exchanging ideas and understanding of what's going on in, in this future planning. His unique experience, which I teach for my students, uh, when we deal with smart cities cases, Pietro's experience is in the center of, of the focus for my students because it is, it is very fundamental, I think, when the smart city starts not with technology, it starts, as Pietro says, with just a bunch of people sitting around the table. It, it is very human, the whole digital sphere that we are dealing with. So it's not about technologies by the initiation. It is about the willingness. This is about the choice. This is about the human bonds. And when there are human relations, this is about trust. I'll be trusting in cryptocurrencies. I'll be trusting in dream chain as long as Pietro there. That's the fundamental thing, I think, which defines the, the, the broader ap apprehension of, of this phenomenon of cryptocurrencies and the blockchain use.
That is why when you meet someone that is inspired by the dreams and ideas to create technologies that will lead our society to a better life, that will improve the quality of life, th that uh, draws your attention, that keeps you in the theme, and uh, that's, that's how you, you try to help. And um, uh, that is why I'm helping my friend, who is great father, who is great singer, who spent in development many, many years, and uh, that's where we uh, got together when I was leading um, uh, one small Russian municipality, and we were building 800,000 square meters per year, and Konstantin was doing his, uh, his part. He was uh, implementing his development project in our municipality. Um, so we were keeping this relationship, this friendship, and uh, uh, in a few moments we'll, we'll learn how the ideas will translate into technological solutions. With this broader picture, keeping human being, keeping the citizen in the focus of everything that is planned and already uh, is being implemented. So let me uh, pass the floor to, uh, to my dear friend Konstantin Sinigovsky and uh, uh, let's prepare for this little exciting journey of uh, understanding of what's going on in Moscow right now. Konstantin, please. Thank you. Thank you, Sergey. Good morning. We are very happy to be here with you today. It's always good to meet old friends and make new ones. Indeed, I've been in development for a while, 20 years now. I've seen 2 million square meters of properties being built, put in operation, sold, managed. I've seen and experienced all this stage of the hard business, which unites, as you know, over a hundred different industries and activities. Land acquisition, master planning, construction, GR, sales, housing management. For some years, I cherished the idea of bringing together these complicated processes of development. Global digital transformation gave me the opportunity to really make it happen. Let me tell you this brief story. I'm very proud to present you today the solution I dreamed for, SCMP smart city management platform. This is a soft and hardware platform deployed on the basis of object-oriented database. SCMP unites over 250,000 classes of objects from different kinds of activities. It is important to note that the objects are not limited by any merits which makes our solution scalable for other industries of levels of management from unit, smart apartment, to a large city, smart city. SMP can be deployed of any major operation systems, web, Windows, Android, iOS. It has built-in graphic interface. The blockchain works without mining which provides for resource and energy saving. It is protected from failures and data reliable due to digital signatures, control sums, distributed ledgers, information logs, multiple backups. Nodes are installed in each unit and create a CMP physical environment. 
Nodes are single board computers with built in uh, SCMP platform server. Together, nodes create hardware infrastructure and programmed mesh network. All nodes are functioning 24 7. Uh, here you can see SCMP structure and its basic blockchain functions. For example, we use BIM technologies which provide to be efficient in many development projects around the globe. BIM helps us to do initial digital copies of the objects. Then we can scale objects up to nine dimensions and integrate all processes in the system online. Build the probability predictive models of objects' behavior for the future. SCMP is integrated solution for the Internet of Things, comprising system, secur system security, assignment of IP addresses to all items, peer-to-peer -peer connections, full information lock. Now, before I conclude, a few words about SCMP applications. One of the more uh, main parts of our IT development is creating an application for mobile devices. Developers, investors, buyers of apartments, homeowners will receive a super useful tool to carry out any transaction through the button in the application. This will be a revolutionary step in the acquisition, management and control of real estate. This will lead to a new level of quality search for the right property, replace traditional advertising, reduce the cost of real estate services, and promotion of the product of the market. Well, the most important in all what I've just said is that right now our platform is being deployed in its debut project within five kilometers from the Red Square and Kremlin in the center of Moscow. Our partner, LSL Development Company, one of the largest Russian developers, brings us to the construction site. First, 20,000 units, social, engineer, and transport objects will be integrated into AI environment, upgrading the project to the smart city status. I welcome to Moscow. I welcome to our company of enthusiasts and happy people. Come, see yourself, become a part of our family. One and a half million square meters is not the limit. It is just its beginning. Thank you. <laughs>